exactly a year ago, my sister, Allison's mom, died of breast cancer. She had the BRCA gene. She put up a great fight. Marla was an amazing, amazing woman. Dana has honorably named these pajamas after Marla, so I'm so grateful to have them on and be a part of this. And um, yeah, Marla was an incredible teacher for me, and we just love her so much. She was a great bouncing off of because Marla had a lot of um, issues and illnesses and things of like fibromyalgia and things that really um, irritated her life and affected her life. And so me, in a different way, traveling the world and you know needing comfort, this collection came up of ours. And Marla was sort of like, you know, really our teacher of like, this is perfect, this feels great, this is wonderful. And she really did. She was like such an advocate for, um, for everything and everyone, just a generous soul. And she really taught us about the BRCA gene. When Marla got sick, she had us, um, our whole family be tested. Mm -hmm. And triple negative, and teaching us about triple negative breast cancer. And you don't realize you're going through that process of, some, of having a loved one with breast cancer that you just think breast cancer is breast cancer. And then you learn that there's all types of different breast cancer. And you think, oh, triple negative, that should be, you know, great, triple negative your negative but it absolutely was the most aggressive breast cancer that's out there and there's you know a need to build more awareness about different types of breast cancer as well and you know triple negative is so unique than any other breast cancer and it is the most aggressive form of breast cancer and we just have to do our part to spread the awareness and, and she brought us to that absolutely she found the triple negative breast cancer foundation yeah yeah and which we've now, um, you know. Partnered with. Exactly. And it's just incredible. And she, you know, went on and on about the triple negative breast cancer. And she was, you know, a fighter and a warrior. And then after she had passed going through her phone and, you know, <laughs> and it's, it's like, okay, we got to do this. We got to do this. And then I start stalking the triple negative breast cancer foundation the cancer fashionista learning about Anna Ono and Dana's project in line and it was like okay and I just kept stopping it was like my fabulous aunt Lori Goldstein on QVC we've got to connect this this is a big big something to do here and this what was is major crazy is Dana and the whole crew and how we really were connected in our past lives and how what I've been doing with Logo all of these years, um, we're just a match made in heaven because, you know, helping women and being partners with women and, you know, respecting women. And that's why QVC was my platform from extra extra small to 5X and so inclusive. And now with Ana Ono and just how it's the exact same mission with different proponents that are now, you know, merged together and just, it just feels so right. Like nothing was, um, nothing feels um, like contrived or we're trying or this is just because of something. It all just kind of like flowed perfectly. My mother had breast cancer and she was part of the pink table and she, you know, it's like our generation talks about things. So we've never been shy about talking about, you know, breast cancer in our family and really, you know, we want to share whatever we're going through with everyone. But Marsha, my mom and Allison's grandmother comes from a different generation and it's really opened her up to talk about, you know, her life story. You know, we always have tried to make, you know, the good from the bad. Mm -hmm. And that's really what I feel like this mission is absolutely I have a question what do you think mom would have thought of well <laughs> I know exactly what she would have thought because she'd see anything she goes oh I need oh, that oh she would need it and it's like she would be she'd want every color she yep. wear it in all different ways Marla came out of the hospital one of the last times 
with her big logo shades mm -hmm. on, oh. her original leopard logo coat. I mean, she wasn't going anywhere without major, major, major style. So this would have just been, and she loved comfort, wow. and she kind of loved her pajamas more than anything. Uh huh. So I mean, this is so her, and that again, honored that this is named after Marla yeah. because it's perfection. And I know, you know, that she's just. I know. She's probably wearing she, them. Right she, now. she really is. I mean, <laughs> this is and the pink. She'd be in the pink. She would totally be in the pink. I've learned over the years about how you know. At there, she's always going to be with us, mm -hmm. and she's she's here today. She's making this all happen. This is you know you you've made it happen too, but you've been inspired by her, and that's the beauty of life.